Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Number six is to solve for x. First thing we're going to do is distribute this 5 and 3. So 5 times 2 is going to give me 10x minus 5 because you have to multiply that over there as well. 3 times 4 is going to give me 12x plus 3 times 3 is 9. Now I need to get the x's to the same side, so I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides. That's going to cancel out over here, leaving me with 2x over here, still plus that 9. And then we're going to subtract the 9 from both sides to give me negative 14 over here, because negative 5 minus 9 is equal to my 2x. Now, divide both sides by 2 to give me a final answer of negative 7. So when it gives you an x and y like this, you're just plugging them in to get a final answer. So let's go ahead and plug away. First off, we would have here 0 plus 3 is what we're plugging in for the y cubed. Minus 5 times 0 would still just be 0. Plus 7 times 3 is going to give me 21. So this is what we're looking at here. So 3 to the third power, 3 times 3 is 9, times another 3 is 27 minus 0 plus 21. So when we look at these two together, that gives me 48 for a final answer of A. You can treat solving an inequality the same way as an equality. It's just any time you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to switch how this sign looks. So if it's currently like this, it will become this. But let's see if we even have to do that at all. First step is going to be combining like terms. We're going to subtract the 3x from both sides. That's going to cancel it out over here. And 6x minus 3x is going to leave me with 3x over here. Now, I also want to get rid of the 3 on this side over here. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides, giving me nothing left over here. And then we'll have negative 3 minus 3 for a negative 6 over here. Our last step is going to be divide both sides by that 3. And that's going to give us that x is less than or equal to negative 2. Now looking through here, the equivalent to that would be this guy right here. So our answer is B. So number 9 is just straight up definitions. Quadrilateral with four equal sides. Well first off, a trapezoid is when you have two sides that are parallel but the other two are not. A uh, parallelogram means that all of the sides are parallel to the ones across from them. Uh, a rhombus is one that has four sides, and they are all the same length. And a pentagon is a five-sided figure. So out of our definition up here, our answer is going to be C. More definitions for number 10 here. A 55-degree angle is what? A right angle is always going to be exactly 90 degrees. Acute angle is when you are less than that 90 degree, whereas an obtuse angle is when you are more than 90 degrees. An exterior angle has to do with if you have a triangle, it's like the angle on the outside. So that's not even going to be considered here. So the only one that we mentioned would be B, acute angle, because it's less than 90 degrees. Well, that's all for today, guys. So go ahead and hit that like button below if you found any use in this content. And remember, if you want to see other things like this, go ahead and check out the videos over here, and they'll help you practice for your next attempt at the ASVAB. Good luck, and I hope you have a wonderful day.